Hey, Hello, people everybody. will be surprised it's on Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura. In the booth with me is Rick Schiavone, and we're right on time, two hours late. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jim. <laughs> yep, uh, no, nothing new here. No, uh, absolutely fantastic to be here. And what, what a card tonight. I am genuinely super, super hyped. Uh, we've got the, the Golden Rat Chunter who's uh, on a golden run up against the EAB champion, Rick, and also the unbelievable North Down South. How on earth have they got their steam going? <laughs> Fighting the champs, and surely they get a tar shot if they win that one. I can't wait. But first of all, as always, it's the Wem Dope Championship, and oh my goodness, has Chug's been a dominant, dominant champion. He is a dominant champion. Chugs, of course, famously Irish. He has an Irish passport. Yes. Therefore, fully qualified for the Celtic Nations in the uh, in the forthcoming World Cup UN thing, whatever it's called. I don't. Do you even know what it's called, Rick? Nations Championship, I believe, Jim. Nations Championship. There you go. That he's he's at the fourth, leading the charge for the Celts, of course. Famous Irishman. He's Shug he is the man. most Irish person I, I know, and in no way the poshest English speaker <laughs> that I know, I promise. Of course not, no. Why would no. he be why would he be an, a posh Englishman? No, he's definitely Irish. <laughs> Should have had Elliot in Celtic Nation. <laughs> <laughs> it might well be Nations League, Steve Marty, sorry. It is definitely Nations something. <laughs> oh my god! It's oh. full force! <laughs> It's happening! It's happening, baby! The one man that has managed to beat the Wem Dope champion in recent weeks. And and so importantly, the only Ham's leader, right? So uh, yeah. this goodness knows what repercussions this will have on Only Ham's, but we could definitely finally see a title change tonight, Jim. Boy howdy, couldn't we just what and maybe this is the, yeah, you know, and last week we saw uh, Fault Force not tagging in to save Shawnee. So yeah, maybe yeah. this is Trouble in Paradise with the only hands. Well, if if he takes the uh, the title tonight, he might be very, very happy to go alone. It's, uh, it's one of the most prestigious positions in the JFW, of course, being the Wendope champion, Fault Force. I'm sure thinks that will suit him perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, such a tough challenge. Even though he beat Chugs a few weeks ago, like, Chugs has dominated everybody else and not nobody's either. Some really, really top JFW superstars. So I've got to think that with the title on the line, without a pay per view around the corner to distract Chugs, he's going to put up a heck of a fight. Absolutely, yeah. And here he is, Mr. Tato. See, Mr. Tato's Irish. He's certainly, he's certainly, he's got some connection to Ireland. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. But he sure doesn't sound Irish, does he? No, no, no. He really doesn't. <laughs> but he is a he is a great uh, blubber coach. So good scoop for the uh, the Celtic team. <sighs> yeah, the Wemdope title. About uh, correct level of beauty to go with the Only Hams. Introducing the champion from England, weighing in at 321 pounds, he is the underground champion, Chuck Man the Milkman. <laughs> Chuck Man the Milkman. <laughs> With all the, uh, the gimmicks of every job available on planet Earth in the late 80s, early 90s, I'm amazed there wasn't a famous milkman wrestler in the WWE. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he always delivers. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go, Jim. I am, I am bristling with excitement for this one. 
Oh! Oh, not messing around. Chuck straight in there taking Fault Force down. This could be a very different match to the one we saw Fault Force win a few weeks back. <laughs> wow, did you fan folks? That's wild. Oh, man. This is, this is more like the start that Chugs has made against other opponents, but there we go. Beautiful reversal by Fault Force. Take control in this one. It looks like it. Oh boy, could this be the day that Chugs... No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 double knee reversal. To oh, the big boot. Boot. <laughs> Nearly took his hat off. The ultimate shame of Foot Force never afraid to uh, bend the rules a little bit there, choking out Chugs. Nice, uh, nice shoulder tackle takedown by Chugs though. Back and forth, Jim. Back and forth so far. Pretty close. Bad timing to celebrate, Chugs. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it just tosses him off. <laughs> not, uh, not many have the strength to do that. Oh my goodness. Massive back body drop. Chuck's definitely feeling confident, celebrating again. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right, double axe handle. Sends a full force to the man. That first pin doesn't even get a one count, Jim. Bloody hell. Full force popping up as if he's fresh, but uh, still caught by Chugs and thrown onto the concrete. How many feet of concrete in this arena? Uh, 32. Oh my, my word, that's one of the highest we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> Apparently that clothesline connected. Um, let's go with that. <laughs> Big rights though from Full Force, bringing this back, and oh my goodness, knockout punch to Chugs. It's the deck outside. Oh no, no, not onto the 32 feet of concrete. No, he can't get him. Oh, he gets him. Oh, oh, my, oh my word. Oh. oh, damage to the back. Absolutely. Oh. He shrugs it off. Wow. Force bringing it back. Uh, sorry, Chugs bringing it back inside. He could have used his champion advantage there, couldn't he? Oh, he could have. So much celebrate. We don't normally see this level of celebrating from Chugs. Something uh, about facing his boss, so to speak, bringing it out of him. Pays the price again. Ooh. Swing and miss. Yeah, but he's got got the time to uh, to keep control. Taking him onto the ropes. Oh no, he misses! Ooh! Belly to back all the way out to the concrete. <laughs> oh boy. Both taking massive bumps on that concrete. They certainly, certainly have massive right hands here from Chugs. And a headlock. Oh. Does seem to be back in control. Champion on He's... top at the moment. But he is getting oil on that lovely suit. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, the, the dry cleaning bill. It's a good job he's champion because the paychecks will be big. And he'll need it for the, uh, for the dry cleaning gym. <laughs> oh, Ch uh, Full Force was going for a choke slam then, Jim. But uh, Chugs beat him to the punch, so to speak. Self rock bottom. Oh, oh man. Nearly knocked his hat off with that one. <laughs> Somehow oh. rolls up, but then absolutely smashed down all the way to full force behind that clothesline, crushing Chugs to the floor. He's not uh, outsized in strength by many, but he is by full force. Oh, man, I think we could be seeing a new champ here, you know. I, d I would agree, Jim, but look how tired full force is. He, is he just tired. couldn't catch his breath, and it gave Chugs a uh, oh. chance to get this clothesline in. Look at this. Look at the strength. Oh, on a guy full force's size, that is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my days. And with how exhausted full force is, that could be it. It could be. No. Oh, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. He's getting close, though. He knows all he's maybe got to do is find that spear. Yeah, chug man, the milk man. Oh, oh, he might not get the chance. Hamstone pile driver. <laughs> Wow. Are we seeing a new champion? The ref straight down. Not sure the ref wants his face there. Oh. Him, Jimmy's the new champion. He's done it again. Oh He's being a Chugs again. Oh my god. Beat by a T-Bag pin. <laughs> <laughs>
it's more like the human centipede once the ref got involved. <laughs> it really was, yeah. <laughs> Snacks and armor right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wow, and uh, good news or bad, this means we're going to be seeing a lot more of Full Force going forward. <laughs> Pretty sure that can only be bad news. <laughs> there, there's your human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look how happy he is. He just couldn't get going, could he, before Hamageddon? He, uh, he used the uh, the infinite kebab fun to buy himself all sorts of title shots and big matches, and he lost match after match. But then out of nowhere, beat the Wendok champion a few weeks ago, finally got his shot at the actual title, and he's done it again. Unbelievable, yeah. Incredible performances by Fault Force. Maybe he's just got Chug's number, you know, the, the part of the same stable, you know, the, the training together and that. Maybe he just knows what to pray on. Maybe he whispers sweet nothings in his ear when he gets in a grapple with him. <laughs> Who, knows? <laughs> Who knows, but he's got I'm, something. I'm sure he knows him inside out, Jim. I think you've got a point. <laughs> oh, God, Rick. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> with, it, <laughs> with it being the Chess World Championships... <laughs> We've got the three best chess players in the JFW. We've got Sean the Prawn, as he's known on uh, on Lie Chess. Shawnee. We've got Dionysian, and we've got Fide Master Jellyel. There you go. Oh my goodness! We do say it's not all about the brawn. It's so often about the brains in the JFW. And uh, if you don't like a bit of RNG, if you want to say there is no dice. Uh, in your wrestling, then uh, look no further than these three uh, chess champions, absolute masters of their craft. But who will outwit who here, Jim? <laughs> I've never heard it said before, BZL, so sorry. <laughs> um, who is going to prevail? I've got no idea. All I know is there's 32 pieces in chess and there's 32 feet of concrete in this arena. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Bezel plays chess, I forgot. Sorry, may maybe Bezel's better than one of these three. I, didn't, I forgot <laughs> Bezel played. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, uh, I, I'm presuming that Bezel actually programs a, a, a bot to play the chess for him, Jim, so I'm not <laughs> sure not sure we can include him in that. From <laughs> 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 Maybe next week uh, we'll see the debut of Extra Pawns Bot uh, fighting <laughs> against the winner of this match. <laughs> that might be a kind of different bot. <laughs> yeah, de definitely spell that correctly, Jim. business isn't he? he works out the meta and then he uh he applies it 100 <laughs> <Yeah>. percent <laughs> and he looks uh, like uh. that <laughs> any any edge you can get jim if pulling that face puts your opponent off then pull that face you should <laughs> it wouldn't that face would him the blitz pit for sure psychological here, edge here comes one of team england though jim yeah, very true. The upcoming Nations, League of Nations, NATO, whatever it is, I've still got no idea. <laughs> but there's an upcoming Blood Bowl tournament, um, and it's going to be very cool. <laughs> Holy, we could have a, we could have a six-man match of just Team England as well. That's also a thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, true. Yeah, true cool. that. We are all in the chair for the. Uh, for the true champion, Jim, none of this uh, Rick Reckless nonsense. <laughs> yeah, we've got Cabal. It's Cabal Vision Nations All Stars CNA to make it simple. Mm. 
No one's got the uh, the rhythm like Shawnee, that's for sure. <laughs> Wonder what he'll make of the Only Hams leader beating Chugs earlier tonight. <laughs> He is jelly up. No sound, of course, because it's jelly up. <laughs> <laughs> not seen it for a long time, have we, Jim? We haven't, no. Very no. long time. It's uh, it's great to, to have him back and his unique entrance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About as popular as uh, Wario on the Virtual Boy. <laughs> I like how the fans neither boo nor cheer in respect of his entrance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Giving him the uh, the silence required to craft out his master chess-like strategy in this match. Absolutely. Oh, dear. Oh, Dio coming out all guns blazing, but caught from behind by Shawnee. And then uh, also manages to reverse Jelly Eel. Shawnee on top, dominating so far. <laughs> Hello, Jack Will. No, it's not up. It's probably going to be going for another hour or two, so that's why. Rick, made, Rick Schiavone made the executive decision to start Claw a mere two hours late. <laughs> 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 oh, wow, look at this from Dio. Oh, oh, my, oh, my goodness. Jelly Hill's not going to be thinking about any chess moves for a little while now, Jim, I tell you. Mm, certainly not. Jelly Hill should have been on Team Italy, shouldn't he, by the way? But no, wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should. Oh, lovely reversal by Shawnee. And out goes Dio. So uh, if one of these can make a pin, they've got the oh. opportunity. Lovely DDT. Back to King's Bishop for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Going for the Carol Khan. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. I don't know anything about chess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Here's Dio with the King's Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Jellyl, of course, is actually a Sicilian. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, that. Oh, with a roll up! Oh, I've played! Out thought! Oh, it kicks out, though, from Shorty. Dio in no state to break that one up either. That could have been it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh my word, Frenzy. brutal crossbody from Dio, but what's Jelly Eel got? He's caught! <laughs> oh! Incredible! Dio thoroughly on top, goes for the pin while Shawnee's down. Only a one count though. Little way to go in this one. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I'm, uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping for the most exciting finish of all um, competitions, a stalemate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they'd all be disappointed if it didn't end in a stalemate, to be honest. <laughs> they love their draws. Oh, nasty forearm in the corner on Dio. Shawnee just about recovering now. Here with the arm drag takedown, though. <laughs> God, Jellia looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> This is on the crossbody. It's uh, accurately representative of Team England mangling uh, the Celtic team. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> oh, double arm DDT! Oh, oh double arm suplex. Oh, my goodness. Double arm underhook suplex, I should say. But a massive boot from Jelly Hill and Dill's rolled out. That could be it. Oh, man. No. Yep, yeah, surely still. Kicking out at one. Really, really strong from Shawnee so far. Yeah. 
Let's let's hope he uh, let's hope he's on he's he's on the ball in the uh, in the tournament here because he, there might be a bit of ring rust. Or might there might that is the rust. risk, isn't it? Yeah, with uh, with Team yeah. England and uh, if Wolfbart comes in, he's not, he's not played too much recently either. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> great team, great team, Rick. Well done. <laughs> you pick three people who don't uh, play uh, Blood Bowl. <laughs> worst, worst captain ever. Oh, oh pass on from Dio. It's got to be over. No, where's he going? He's getting a weapon. He's, he's getting weapon. a weapon. It's extreme rules. He's, he's got the pawn into the end zone, Jim. <laughs> Here he comes the second queen. What's he done? He falls on the ground. Oh, no. He was sacrificing the pawn to get the checkmate, obviously. That's what he was. It's gonna be close. Oh, Shawnee kick out again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what a move. Sit down. Scoop slam from Dio, and he wants to end it. Shawnee still completely out of it, it seems. Dirty deeds. Oh, oh Shawnee's Shawnee right, the right, there. right there. Right there, Shawnee. Good lad. And oh, Mikey he goes Kelly for the figure four. This one, though. He goes for the figure four. This could be it. Is we it going to be checkmate for Dio? No. <laughs> he finds a way out. Oh, oh the roll up. The roll up from Dio. What shot is What shot is it? No, shot is it? No, just in time. Just in time. <laughs> Lovely belly to back from Shawnee. Jelly Hill rolling out the ring. This really could be it now if someone can find the finish and it's looking like Shawnee. That kendo stick's still in there. Oh, boy. Oh. Catapult into the ring rope and Shawnee thinks he's got it. <laughs> Oof. You know, still got just about enough to kick out at two. Oh. A legal elbow there, pointy elbow, brutal, disgusting manoeuvre. Yeah, not even wearing any uh, elbow pads like many of the JFW superstars. <laughs> Might look like a skater, but uh, in truth, he's only played Tony Hawk's. Okay. Belial takes out Shawnee, and Dio still out of it. Oh. Nasty rakes from another elbow, taking all the elbows here, Dio, and choked out in the corner. Why is the ref not breaking this up? <laughs> Can you get disqualified in chess, Jim? <laughs> no, exactly. That's why it's extreme rules. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hard knock life of a chess champion. <laughs> Jelly has got it. You said he was the best at chess out of the three, Jim. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. The pin counted! Shawnee! Has he blundered? Oh, Worth he's... still kicking out at one, Jelly Hill. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, super kick to the shin. Oh my word! Ooh. Massive shin to the head of Shawnee, and he's <laughs> busted open. Tio tries to, to steal the win. <sighs> the neck breaker from Jelly Eel. <laughs> might want to pin Shawnee. Shawnee completely gone. Ooh. Oh well, now he oh, definitely Dio's wants to pin inside. Shawnee. This is over, Jim. This is completely done. Oh. Shawnee down for about three days. That's got to be it. He's going to wake up just as the Eludia stream finishes. <laughs> He's going to wake up when that meme stops being a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to say Shawnee's dead there, by the way. <laughs> oh, dear. Great showing from on the return right from Jelly Hill. Yeah. He'd only had one match in the JFW. He got soundly thrashed by Dimmy G after, uh, well, before Italy had played England in the uh, in the in the World Cup or the European Championships, one of the two. We've uh, we've all been soundly thrashed by Dimmy to our shame. So uh, 
fair play to him. And so, yeah, maybe the start of a beautiful career in the JFW after a full start then. Yeah. And he's got some music as well for his victory. That's, that's nice for him, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The party starts once the job's done, Jim, not before. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> full pause in the chat. The oh, new really. champ, baby. Yeah, the new wound up champion. Glorious. And now we've got three horrifying monstrosities. You know, um, just affronts to nature, really. Um, despicable, despicable creatures. Taking Hard on. Hard to even look at. Taking on three undead guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man, like what, what a match this is. Uh, I am absolutely stoked to see this one because you just feel like both teams have to win every match they play, but obviously they go up against each other and, and somebody's got to lose. Somebody's got to come out, you know, beneath the other team. And uh, yeah, it's, I just can't even imagine which teams that's going to be, Jim. These two are just absolute beasts in the JFW. Absolutely. That's very true. Fanfox Dress for Business did beat uh, Six Feet Down Under a couple of weeks back. So, you yep, know, yep. Dress for Business on a tear at the moment. But uh, still, this is a pretty crazy three versus three, isn't it? Pretty amazing. And, and of course, the Scousers did drop their Tag Team Championships as well. So, uh, yeah, it it's true. There are weaknesses, just occasionally. You, you see a, a little hole, a little shimmer of, shimmer of light sparking through if, uh, if you've got to face them, but uh, goodness me, it's uh, ra rather them than me still. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. Gengar alone would be bad enough, Jim. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you put these two alongside him, and it's just ridiculous. Night Demon with the insanely great dominating extra arms belt championship run recently. Pepper <laughs> Biscuit, just capable of dismantling and basically murdering any man in the roster. And, and Gengar, who just, just gets it done. There's just no no fuss, no nothing. He just always gets the business sorted in the ring. Yeah, one of the greatest tag team partners of all time, Gengar, isn't he? He's always interfering and stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Dirty, dirty man on the outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he anchors any team he's a part of. He really does. And yeah, you know what? Funnily enough, for how good they are at singles, Pepper Biscuit and Night Demon did struggle a little bit tagging together. They were, yeah. they were two great singles wrestlers trying to be a tag team. But you throw Gengar into that mix, who is really the glue that holds any good tag team together. And, and I just, I can't even see how the Scousers, unless they cheat beyond anything we've ever seen before, Jim. <laughs> I am starting to think, I can't see how the Scousers win this one. It's true, it's not gonna be easy for them. But they've done it before. They always seem to, and I, I just don't know how. <laughs> I, I, for the most part, I managed to stop underestimating them, but uh, I don't know, something about just watching Six Feet Down Under come out. <laughs> yeah, they're certainly more intimidating than these tracksuit wearing idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it, these three are inspired by 80s Liverpool FC gym, and you know, that's one of the greatest football teams of all time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> They, apparently they argue about which one has to be Mark Lawrenson. <laughs> Probably going to be Hancock in it, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see him more as uh, Graham Soonis myself. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Nobody wants to be a low roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Still the plim plum plus away. Champ, of course, Hancock. Great run with that belt. Yeah, that's that's been absolutely immense. Although we've started to see a couple of interesting challenges come through, haven't we, uh, Jim? A big week for uh, was it uh, was it Sam on Friday Night Stand Firm? Just Joe, just Joe on. Just uh, Joe. Sorry, uh, that was it. I mean. That's true, Steve Motty, but they're not going to have to kill. They can just buy them everything they want soon, can't they, Newcastle? <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Yep, Steve Motty again, proving me wrong instantly. Yeah. Catching Night Demon cold. Not even cheating so far, as far as we can tell. But here comes Night Demon. Crushing clothesline, sending Steve Motty to the canvas. Oh! No. oh. <laughs> Just a slam. Uh, back, back and forth we go. High standard opening here. Oh, look at the strength, though, of Night Demon. <laughs> you, you, you look at him next to Pepper Biscuit and Gengar, you'd, you'd completely underestimate him physically, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But he, he isn't lacking for anything. Absolutely not, no. But massive clothesline again. Steve Motty in all sorts of trouble now. This is how I thought it might go. What can Steve Motty do, if anything, to reply? Oh, oh no. Six feet down under must outweigh the Scousers two to one here. <laughs> yeah, they probably do, yeah. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh no! Oh no! Together! Night Demon landing on his feet. The instigator of a double clothesline to the outside. Steve Monty crashing into that 32 feet of concrete. Oh no. <laughs> now eats turnbuckle. Not turnbuckle, sorry, apron. Cool. Trying to fight back, but it lasts all of about two seconds. He <laughs> could really do with Fugonomics coming down and trying to help him out here. Yeah. Normally, Fugonomics is, is great at mixing it up on the outside, but yeah, just just yep. content with looking. Oh, oh there oh. we go! Steve Motty with his speed. Wrecking Night Demon into the oh, apron man. over and over again. This could be over, Jim. It could it be a could couple be. count out. Could be a win for the Scousers. We're up to eight. Nine. He's done it! He's done it! <laughs> He's done it! I was hyped about that match for absolutely no reason, Jim. I should have known. Quick, easy win for the Scousers via absolutely no honor whatsoever. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. I hereby hold up my hand and declare I will never, ever underestimate the Scousers under any circumstances ever again. They are now, for me, the favorite in every match they ever go into. Yeah. How can they not be? Absolutely dastardly. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you just used Fugonomics' ass, Steve Barty, as a, as a blocking device. Yeah. Yeah. But now we know why he didn't get involved on the outside. He, he, yep. he was planning on using his ass as a count-out <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Unbelievable. You are full force. Congrats, man. We, we want to know, is that the end of the Onihams? Uh, you know, looks yeah. like dissension in the ranks to me. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Now we've got Steve versus Firstborn. Yeah, Steve, Motty, Jim, I have heard that Six Feet Down Under want the refs to check uh, Fugonomics tracksuit bottoms for foreign objects, but uh, the refs are currently refusing. More on that later. <laughs> Oh man, long time since we've seen either of these two guys in the ring. 
So they're getting an opportunity on Claw to remind everyone they've got what it takes. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I mean, Dave's just beloved by all right. Uh, how, how can you not love Dave? Had uh, had that battle of the uh, the intellects with Dimmy G in a in a classic a few weeks back, um, and uh, and here he is again. And I, but I'm absolutely a massive fan of Firstborn, both the man, the streamer, and the wrestler. And uh, was delighted when he incredibly briefly won the streamer title a few months ago. He's not managed too much since in the JFW, but he always gives an incredible showing. And I really hope he can go one over and uh, start his ascension here against Dave. Nothing against Dave, of course. <laughs> No. Here we go. The Mountie, kind of. <laughs> yeah, the, the Mountie and the Big Boss fan together in one. <laughs> one. <laughs> Pretty buff rowdy for a Blood Bowl streamer. Uh, I was a big uh, Jew South fan as a, as a kid as well, or teenager, whenever that was out. Do you remember Jew South, Jim? Uh, yes, I was a big fan of that when I was a kid or a teenager, whenever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was that awkward time when you were kind of too young to go out on the lash, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, Jim. <laughs> and you had nothing better to do than watch Jew South. <laughs> oh, dear. They're trying to make a fast start, but nicely countered by Firstborn. Getting the psychological edge. He's also probably the quicker and the fitter, but not the stronger or the bigger. No. And his face has less rubber. <laughs> yes. Yes, there is no mask, but there is there is a beanie hat, isn't there? So, you know, it's yeah. very much yeah. like calcium in that regard. <laughs> Or oh, England versus that. Spain in the first round. Oh wow, that that is uh, that is quite the clash. Mm. Battle of the Giants there. <laughs> Could avoid Russia, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, me too. Russia looks insane. <laughs> some some people were saying Team England was the best on paper, and I I I really like Team England, but flip me Team Russia. Yeah, Team Russia is I think the biggest threat. But I'm sure we will emerge victorious. <laughs> Happy and glorious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought first one was getting the catcher. There he rakes the eyes. He does. He does. <laughs> Dave about to launch him. But even the mask not saving him from the eye rake. Maybe he should do a PC and uh, have a mask that covers his eyes as well, Jim. Yeah, good idea. Le, 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 oh god, I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired. Le bread mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, people uh, people think it'd be bad to have your eyes covered, but uh, everyone that's tried it said they didn't see a downside. <laughs> oh, oh, first ball, pop it up. It's a massive right hand for Dave. He's going to regret. Oh. Standing, oh my word, this is a puddling. Oh my goodness. No, oh, don't get up, what are you doing? Don't remember what just happened. Get some wow. instant barrage of more punches. Yeah, complete beatdown. Choking out in the corner now as well. Dearie me, this was. First one was doing great, and all of a sudden, I'm feeling sorry for him. Yeah, yes. <laughs> all our soul. D. Dave realizing he was uh, losing the battle of wits. Just decided to uh, physically demolish his opponent instead. And uh, frankly, quite a good strategy in a wrestling match. Yeah. Uh, first ball managed to get some sort of grip back in this again now. Nice boot to the midsection takes down Dave. <laughs> oh, chokeslam. He's got him. A choke break. Breaker. Wow. Cool move. Is it enough for Dave? Ooh, oh, dearly. Yeah, two, two and a half. We could be uh, getting towards the end of this. Both have taken a significant amount of punishment and Firstborn says it's over. Can he land it? Here we go. It's Firstborn with... No, it's not Dave Cambers. 
And it's oh. the Big Dave Slam! Oh! Hey, Charlie! That's... Oh! oh. Two and a half, my goodness! <laughs> oh, God. All sorts of stuck in the ropes. He's okay, he's okay. <laughs> his body's now in three parts, but he's managing to balance it together. <laughs> oh, and he misses a, one of his punches. Doesn't matter. Oh, but he, he countered the choke slam again <laughs> from, uh, from first one. All the counters from Dave on the big moves. Incredible stuff. Neither man can have much left now. Both pushed to the absolute limits in this one so far. Oh, huge splash. Dave, possibly one move from putting Firstborn away, but the, the, a shoulder tackle following the arm wrench of Firstborn. A bit of ground and pound. Trying to get through the mask. And the thick skull of Dave. Oh, oh, Jim, cheating. Oh, disgusting. But will it, is it going to pay off or backfire? That's the question. Oh. Wow, massive slam. Are ready for that one, though? Yeah, it didn't phase Dave. <laughs> oh, not much does, Jim. <laughs> Except for a calculus test. <laughs> Oh, huge knockout punch, though. When will Firstborn try and decide to put this one away? He's got to be close. Belly to back, though. Not belly to back. Uh, well, maybe it was. Great, great uh, move from Dave, though. Resting control back from Firstborn. Oh, the whip into the corner, but not the exposed turnbuckle. Oh, huge right hands, though. Both of these uh, competitors happy to just punch and kick their way to victory tonight. Yeah, why not? Don't have to do anything clever if you don't have to. No. Beating is a beating is a beating. <laughs> Nearly got him just by, just for that little, you know, that little I think. Oh, here we go. The refs fixing the Yeah, the, the refs notice the turnbuckle and the choke slam into backbreaker in again. Surely this time. That's got to oh, be could it. could be, yeah. One. Two. He's got him. Well played, Firstborn. Easy win for Firstborn. Yeah, a little bit. It's a couple of rough patches in the middle, but overall, excellent, excellent showing. Yeah, that's a really good win that sends a message to the rest of the locker room. He'll be back. Glorious. Even Dave knows it. Give him the respect. That's beautiful. You love to see it. And this is why Dave is beloved by the millions <laughs> and millions of the JFW universe. <laughs> The millions. He doesn't know much, Jim, but he knows when he's been beaten by the better man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, he's got a lot of experience of it, but... <laughs> yep, congrats to Firstborn. And, uh... Right, we've got... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, look at this. I mean, th this could be the main event of any show the JFW ever puts on right now. And that's because North and South, um, I don't want to say anything too bad about them, but uh, they're beloved because they're the ultimate underdogs of the JFW. And yet, somehow, in recent weeks, they have beaten anybody who's anybody in the tag team division to finally earn this match to see if they're really up to the standard of having a title shot from the champions. If they beat them tonight, surely that is in their destiny. They are two steps away from the most unlikely tag team championship reign of all time in the JFW, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, can't add anything more to that. That is, it's absolutely incredible. What a run there. I mean, it's not just a hot run, it's like, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? They're running. It's like yep. wow. every every match they've been in, you'd think, well, not not this time. It ends now. Well, it didn't. It hasn't. And here we are. And that's true. But of course, Stor's big famous saying is, "This stops now." So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so maybe it will. Maybe it's the purchase of Newcastle that's given to Scotty. New, uh, newfound motivation. It's a great weight off the back, isn't it? You know, that it must have been stressful. Constant pressure. The fans never really behind him on that front. Whereas the fans of the JFW giving him nothing but love and Greg's pasties. <laughs> yeah.
Got to say, Jim, I don't know if you've ever had Cars pasties, but uh, that's what uh, that's what Rick uh, uh, bought and uh, delivered for the uh, christening of his daughter, and everybody really liked those. So uh, mm -hmm. maybe maybe uh, Scottish should try out some Cars pasties. I've never heard of them. I'll be honest. I yeah, I think they, they might be a local thing for the Bolton area, actually, but uh, they do have quite a few shops around here. Ah, yes. Fresh from the oven in Bolton. I'll bake it all. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm ever in Bolton, <laughs> I'll try a car's pass. You, you won't go wrong, Jim, I promise you. Should ask Vernon Kay's opinion. <laughs> Thanks but, to him, uh, I know that there's the the big, well, the biggest or, or a big. I think it's the biggest banana ripening factory in, in England is in Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Who who doesn't like a, a ripe banana, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Wank Nation did. <laughs> Talking of. Uh, being a master chef, Jim, look who's going to cook up a storm. It's the man we can finally see, or at least half of him. It's Store Baby, accompanying Flicky Flack, the tag team champions of the JFW. Oh, baby. He lost his mind, but he found a best friend instead. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he just willed him into existence. Who knows? <laughs> I, I wouldn't put it past Flicky, Jim. Incredible. He's ended two lives in the JFW and maybe created one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I absolutely love the tag team champions, Jim, but I I cannot do anything but hope and cheer for North and South in this one. Yeah, absolutely. Love the underdog story of North and South. <laughs> yeah, Volk, I thought he'd be representing Andorra, to be honest. Oh, huge slam from Flicky. Poor Ansi is used to this kind of thing. He's shown an incredible amount of fighting spirit in recent weeks, and there it is again. Oh, Ansi, baby. Woo, TDT. <laughs> Oh, glorious. Probably wants to get in a, an early tag. Size on size would be good here. And indeed, there's the powerful arm drag from Flicky. Yeah, and there's a massive raid from Eludius. Thank you very much. Absolutely oh, glorious. Baby. Yeah. The great, <laughs> the great intro to the Cabal Vision Nations All-Stars. That's right, isn't it? It As certainly is. I can't wait, Jim. Yep, yeah, excellent, excellent uh, stream. To let us know what that's all about, Jim. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing competition. Eludius <laughs> done some brilliant work with uh, the help of many others. Yeah, Great to see you, everyone. Glorious. For those of you new to the JFW, uh, it is the greatest wrestling promotion on earth. Uh, members of chat turned into wrestling superstars going head-to-head, -head, um, courtesy of the genius <laughs> AI that is WWE 2K19. Nobody knows what's going to happen, least of all the wrestlers in the ring or any of us, but uh, we like to uh, have a look and say stupid stuff to go along with it. Yep. <laughs> no, Volk, we can't because uh, the El meme is banned in this chat. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> And uh, in this one, ladies and gentlemen, we have the tag team champions, Store the Halfling Master Chef, who you see on top in the ring now, and his tag partner, Flicky Flack, on the outside. Uh, and this is Descotti, he's fighting Help against, in my who uh, opinion, might look like a certain ex Newcastle chairman, purely no, by coincidence, and his tag team partner, Ansi. They have been the ultimate underdogs during the JFW history in the tag team division, but somehow have fought their way up to a non-title shot against the champions. And uh, surely they become the number one contenders if they win this one for the first time in their history. It will be absolutely epic if they can do it. And they are on an unbelievable run. It is incredible. And Descotti there with a wonderful dodge of Storr trying to splash him in the corner. It didn't happen. Ah, but Descotti takes too long. And elbows to the gut get Storr back in control. Whips Descotti into his friendly corner. 
Flicky Flax in. It's the big man versus the big man. Oh, oh double super kick. But can he find the tag he can? Ansi. <laughs> Surely he can't take out Flicky. No. <laughs> oh, Jimmy can't. <laughs> he gets squashed. That went exactly the way you'd expect. <laughs> it, it did. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice counter elbow from Ansi, though. Again, showing that extra fighting spirit. Oh, but Flicky straight up. That is a scary sight. A mountain of a man standing up as if you've done absolutely nothing when you've delivered your best his way. And he brings in store, and Ansi's going to go for a ride. Oh, that arm. He saw it in the morning, but he misses with a super kick. He misses with a super kick. Oh, Ansi with a brain buster onto his knee. The Scotty recovering now as well. North and south. Getting back into this one just oh, when it was looking dire. Imagine if they can do it. Oh, Ooh, nearly. <laughs> Two count on store. Wow, can they do it? Surely not, Jim. <laughs> Surely this is where it stops, unfortunately. <laughs> Ansi sent into the 32 feet of concrete on the outside. <laughs> Desperately needs a tag if he even ever gets back in the ring. Store delivers him. He doesn't want the uh, disdain of the crowd by winning via count out. He knows how easily he can win by a pin or submission. But Ansi's back up and finds an elbow. Oh! oh! The dire death drop. That could be it. it Flicky's got to break this up or it's over. He's not coming in. He's not coming in. Oh! oh I'm doing a <laughs> no! That was so nearly it. I really thought that it was, was so <laughs> nearly it. Oh! Store squashing Ansi in the corner. That, that moment of glory has gone fleetingly into the night. <laughs> I fear they've missed their chance, Jim. I can't believe Storr kicked out. I can't believe Flicky didn't make the save. The Scottian. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fighting the turnbuckle, he, uh, he might want to go outside and actually fight the wrestler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that clubbing right. Oh, and no. again, Storr having to take a knee. Oh, my goodness. Devastating, devastating right hand here, like a, a jackhammer to the head of Store. Tosses him off with a disdain. <laughs> yeah, he's like a foot and a half tall, isn't he? He weighs about two or three times as much. This is uh... yeah. There, there's no competition. If Store is a bit out of it and can't use his speed advantage, there's just no competition here. He isn't going to outmuscle the Scotty. They need to get back in. Yeah, just got him making sure that happens. Oh. Store is right for the picking here. Oh, three yes. amigos. Oh, boy. Just Scotty wants to pin him after this. this. There's no way Store's kicking out. Flicky needs to find a way to save his partner and get himself in the ring as the legal man. Mm. Oh. The weight of Scotty behind that elbow. Crushing a windpipe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm amazed he hasn't gone for the tag and somehow Store dragging the arm. He's got to make the tag. He's got to make the tag. Descoy rolls out of the way and wipes him out. Oh, oh Store gets up. Oh. oh. Store really should have tagged out. I thought I thought Descoy was going to tag out. And let him the chance. He's got caught, Jim. He's got caught. Yep, I thought he was going to tag out as well. He's really missed his opportunity. And then, oh my word, this is this is only flicky between a North and South victory now. Oh boy, package power driver. Oh. Return to sender, because this is done. Yeah, Can Ansi intercept in. Flicky? Yeah. No, look at the speed of Flicky. No messing at all. Oh my word, the Scotty taking Flicky's head off though. If he can pin store again, Jim, it's over. Oh, man. Pin him! Pin him and you've won! Come on, this guy! Do pin it. him, please! No! Okay, good! Just pin him! <laughs> oh, Jim, he's, he just wants to beat him up more! There we go! Yeah, it's over, Jim! North and South have won! No. Oh, no! How Star kicked out! He's been absolutely brutalized and somehow he's kicked out! <laughs> Gosh darn! Oh, wow. Store powering out. 
Oh, Managing yeah. to use the leverage to get the Scotty down. What store got in store? <laughs> wow. Oh my word. Somehow getting to Scotty up for a brain bust. There's some sort of halfling magic going on there. <sighs> wow. All the Scotty's been through, you'd think he'd run out of energy to even kick out. Somehow he finds the reserves, the determination, the will. He wants that title shot, Jimmy. He knows this might be his only opportunity in his lifetime, in his entire wrestling career. Oh, those lines though from store. The Scott is in all sorts of trouble. He's the man that needs to find a tag now. In a way, they both do. But somehow, store has found a second wind like never before. You have incredible agility. Oh man, wow. the strength to pull off some of these moves on Descotti. Mind boggling. Oh, Descotti, there we go. Uses his size and strength. Shoulder barge, oh. take down the package file driver. Oh, and it's a nice clean run for Ansi as well to get to the, to Flicky. This could be it. Well, there's no way Store's kicking out. That's absolutely for sure. Yeah. Ansi! Oh, oh what? Just... What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, lovely neck breaker from Ansi, though. <laughs> Lovely neck breaker. The sky thinks he's won. I think the sky <laughs> thinks he's won, Jim. I think he does. And maybe he just caught a whiff of a car's pasty in the crowd. <laughs> oh my word! Doing to store and store did to him the multiple, multiple clotheslines. <sighs> oh my! That must have broken his wrist. Goodness me! How has store even stood up? <laughs> Dodges the splash though. Store quicker blocks the chop. Oh. oh, back and forth we go. Nobody being able to take control. Store trying to choke to Scotty out on the ropes. Oh, no, it's his finisher. Still oh, no flicky in sight, though. Can Ansi save to Scotty? He's got to this time. He's got to. Oh, oh. backbreaker. It's over the other side of the ring as well, Jim. Ansi might not make it. Yeah. Oh, the last second! At the very last second! Oh my goodness! Wow. Even though there was literally nothing stopping him, you still think it's like 50 50 fancy? <laughs> <laughs> really do. It's one of the reasons why we have seen them lose before, just like complete incompetence in the tagging department. Finally, Dor manages to bring in Flicky. The Scotty desperately trying to get to his feet, but cut off by Flicky. And there's no Ansi. I Ah, oh, Jim. The dream is finished. Yeah, the dream is finished. Yeah, I think it might have finished. Oh, oh my, God. oh my word. Oh no, Flicky, don't do it. <laughs> don't kill a third man. Oh. Oh, oh my, God. oh no. Oh no. It's over, Jim. It is. Oh, he's so close. He was <laughs> so close. <laughs> the chaps oh. are the chaps for a reason, though, Jim. And I, I don't know if there's anybody worthy in the JFW of even facing them for the title belts right now. Yeah, I mean, that was that was impressive, wasn't it? It was a, it was a real good show and by Ansi and Scotty. They made us believe. They did. But, they yeah. did. It was it was a worthy finish to their uh, fairy tale. And even at the end there, Ansi a split second away. But, uh, you know, if it isn't good enough, it isn't good enough. Yeah. Who knows? Who's who's next for wrestling kick nation? Happy with that, they know they they know they uh, pulled that one out of the bag there. Very tough match. Wrestling Kick Nation not making it into the nation's competition, Jim, interestingly. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are represented, though. Several of their members are represented, aren't they, in the teams? That is true. That is true. Uh, but also, and now the main event is both two people on, on great form in the GFW. Well, Rick, not so much after losing the school last week. But Chunter on great form. Chunter, of course, the captain of... Europe United and uh, Rick, the captain of Team England. Unbelievable. Yeah, captain versus captain. But uh, you're right, Chuntron just 
fire beyond belief. Uh, if anyone deserves a, a shot at the title, it is Chunter. But uh, to, to really, really earn it, he needs to win this tonight. And, and then the question, like you say, what about Skurmezo? Um, Rick doing a great job of hanging on to the title to date so far. It's been a, a lengthy reign. But uh, he did he did pick up that loss last week. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he didn't win this one. Mm. Oh, wow, really, Chunter? Who else is in the group? I saw Spain and... I guess the groups are four. From the Netherlands, yes. <laughs> oh wow, France. Is it two teams from the group go through, is it, like the World Cup and that? Oh, and I think there's some third places go through as well. Now that I think about it. Yeah. He's up for this one, Jim. You can see it in his eyes, you can see it in his movements. He is ready to give 100%. But never daunted, never fearful. He has beaten some of the monsters of the JFW and never looked back. He's ready to go as always. Rick Reckless. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that's a good point, Chunter. We might finish third if we only play half our games. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Side, no, one, no one wants to go out in fourth right, you know? That... And it, it's somebody's got to. Yeah. No, of course. I mean, everyone's good, aren't they? It's like, even though some teams may be may appear stronger than others, uh, there's no easy games, are there? Like, you know, of course not. But uh, Russia. To looks, be honest, team team Europe, scary. France, Spain, and England are all. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to pick who goes fourth out of those four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That's it. There's three people who don't play blood ball on Team England. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so will that be a factor too, too busy entertaining in the JFW <laughs> nice scoop slam by Rick a slightly better start than he had against Skuro oh but a hip toss counter from Chunter oh boy. gets him into this one oh they lock up stronger by Rick on that occasion there Ref might have to break this one up. He does. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Why clean, isn't that guy's break. fiance on Team America? Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, that would have been the best thing ever. Super Fed's fiance on Team America. <laughs> oh, huge elbow from Rick. Oh, but then Chunter with the counter D. Wow, back and forth we go. Nobody really on top, and Rick rolls away. Oh, oh and a massive clothesline. Takes Chunter down. Is this the start of Rick dominance, or has Chunter got more? Oh, knees to the face. Uh, the ground headlock wearing Chunter down. Oh, he manages to get up and holds on. Oh. Whips Rick into the ropes. Another hip toss. Using that really, really well. Rick's size and speed against him. Yeah, surprisingly yeah. big, isn't he, Chunter? You, you know, you don't think of him being a big guy, but he's actually he's pretty he's pretty up there, you know. It's... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Rick, one of the uh, the heavyweights, and and Chunter hardly giving up any size advantage. I think he was a lot bigger than Finney, wasn't he? Uh, that was noticeable in the tag team, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, clothesline to the back of the corner. Yeah, Chunter taking control. No, Rick with the counter. Still back and forth we go. Oh my word. Absolutely squashed, but then he pops up to his face and catches Rick with those giant rat feet. <laughs> Using the claw, reducing Rick's armor to seven, but then Rick oh. rolls out of the way. <laughs> Can't keep the grasp. Chunter gets behind. Oh boy. Whips Rick into the corner and gets the, gets the clothesline to Rick's back. Oh my god, do you know what I've just realized? Chunter needs one of Daniel Bryan's moves so he can have the Yesh lock. <laughs> 
<laughs> that that would be fantastic. Uh, talking of blocks, he uh, does have Rick in a nasty uh, headlock here. Rick struggling to get out. Breath being squeezed from his body. Hunter in the end letting go. Does, uh, does exert a lot of energy. <laughs> oh, the golden locks of Chuntorino or whatever the heck this is called. But Rick's in a world of hurt. This could be it, Jim. It could be. Rick doesn't usually give up. Oh, no, You know, no, normally if you out. cut one of his legs off, he thinks he's got to settle for a draw. But Oh, Rick's celebrating too early, Jim. <laughs> oh, no, he could have lost. That could be it. That really, really could be it. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Somehow, somehow, kick it out at two, but Rick's in so much trouble. What the heck was that celebration? Oh, Rare. <laughs> Lack of awareness from Rick and a massive powerbomb from Chunter. Oh, man, this is looking real rough for Rick. <laughs> it is, it is. It's looking like a second loss in two weeks for the extra arms belt champion. That is not how a champion wants to be perceived. He's not going to have much confidence going into his next title defense. Well, it's still time to th turn this one around, guys. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's, yeah, time maybe, but I'm not seeing anything, Jim. No, that's true. Okay, no, there we go. He sweeps the leg. He's gone all Cobra Kai. <laughs> going to the top. Oh, man. What's this? Go for the Rick roll. Way flattens him. Absolutely flattens him. Has Chunter taken enough though to stay down? No. Does get a two count. Not bad. But he needs to uh, capitalize. Stay in control. He's going again. Oh, here we go. Woo. Top rope flippy. Oh my goodness. This this might be enough to put away Chunter. Oh, oh two and a three quarters. How did Chunter kick out of that? That's what Skuro did, Jim. He kicked out of those two moves back to back and then picked up the win last week. It's deja vu all over again. <laughs> oh, God. Shine can't Something about the thing. potency of Rick's moves has been lost, and people are kicking out and finding the finish. Oh my you God. said he doesn't give up often, Jim. I wouldn't be surprised if he taps now. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Flip me, Jim. <laughs> oh, power's out again. I really was expecting the tap that time. <laughs> Chunter blocks the chop. Forearm for Rick's face. Rick down. Chunter's a bit tired, though, having to catch his breath. Yep. And yep. again, yeah, he's really given a lot here. Rick showing no signs of recovery, though. Chunter got time to catch his breath, though I don't think he'll get a pin after that long. Wow, still two. Maybe uh, Rick deliberately waiting. Oh, talking about catching your breath, though. Rick having the breath of life squeezed out of him again by Chunter. Oh, man, this is, this is looking bad for Rick, isn't it? He's had, he's had that brief flurry, but it's been pretty much dominance by Chunter. Yeah, it used to be that those flurries won in matches. And for some reason, the last two weeks, it hasn't happened. And yes, other than that, you're right. It's been all Chunter. Oh this, is, this is it. This is it, Jim. It is the second uphill block of the match. <laughs> oh, no! oh, Rick dodged it. Rick dodged it, but he catches the right hand. Squashed in the corner. Oh, Running ball and puts Rick open. That might be enough. That might still be enough. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, Chunter. Oh, oh. oh. Somehow, Rick bleeding like a stuffed pig. Kicks out still. Powers up. Powers up, Jim. He's angry. He misses, though. He misses oh, and shuts and whips him onto the apron. Oh, oh, oh no. DDT through the ropes. <laughs> oh, Rick looks dead. Rick actually looks dead. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> I don't know if he can still move. Oh, my God. Look at the blood on move. Rick. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> the arrogance! <laughs> Incredible! He knows he's got him! He's not wrong! He's not even wrong! Oh, roll break! How often do you see Whoa. that? Wow! How did Rick manage to even grab the rope? If he hadn't been there, that would have been it. Wow. 
That's so rude. taken a long time and Rick reverses. He took too long. <laughs> the arrogance got to him. <laughs> yeah, toxic showboating from Chunter. Huge oh, belly to back from Rick. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> it's time. No! no Chunter's going to trust him with the arm drag. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He's won. He's won. He's won. <laughs> Oh my god. Two weeks oh, what? What? That is impossible. <laughs> that actually is impossible. <laughs> wow. It's there no you. good though. It's no good. How on earth does Rick do anything from here? He doesn't. Rick is just... Yeah, Rick is gone. <laughs> that was it. That was a valiant end. And credit to him. He's the champion for a reason. But Rick is gone. Chunter has still won this. Oh boy. Well, it's just not over till... Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the over fat till lady's the singing, Jim. <laughs> the fat lady's already singing. She's almost finished. <laughs> wow, he's really enjoying the moment, isn't he, Chunter? Unbelievable. And, and well, he might. He's, he's demolishing the extra arms belt champion. Why shouldn't he? Yeah, he really is. It's an absolute demolition. Rickle might never be the same again after this. <laughs> oh, God, look at that man. <laughs> oh, Paul like Moore kills him. Paula this could hurts. be it right now. Oh my goodness me, Rick! Just stay down. It's not even for the title. <laughs> you don't need to give this much. There's no reason. Oh my goodness, Jim! Why? Why does he even need to cheat? <laughs> well, as Tom Brady says, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Oh my! Oh my word! That huge power slam again. <laughs> The ref distracted though, fixing that turnbuckle. He actually caught that really quickly. Yep. Oh my word, brain buster. Shot the, the ref referee. Not managed to fix it. What? Chunter using the extra leverage of the cushion and not being there. <laughs> Wait, you Lands the moonsault. That's got to be it it's this time. Be. It is. <laughs> no! What? What does he have to do? How is that possible? Oh my god. <laughs> Top row moonsault after one of the <laughs> biggest demolishing we've ever seen. Yep. Stay down, Rick, for goodness sake. Rick acting like that knight in a Monty Python right now, isn't he? Uh, uh. <laughs> Holy moly. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> He's got no flesh left. Rick with the arm drag. Surely you can't put anything together. He can't have anything left in the tank. Oh, Chunter! Into the exposed turnbuckle! Into the exposed turnbuckle! It's backfired! Into the crucifix powerbomb! Rick might have won! Rick might have actually Blood won! Ball, Jesus! Can he do it? If he has, this is a miracle, Jim. Water has been turned into wine. A Christmas miracle! The lame have been healed! The dead oh. have risen! Oh, no! Still not enough. The exposed turnbuckle, the crucifix powerbomb, Chunter, the absolute man in JFW right now, and this is why. <laughs> Counters the submission. Whips Rick into the exposed turnbuckle. Oh, oh. Rick. Rick, it's paid off. The cheating has oh. paid off. Oh, man. Oh. I've oh. never seen the exposed turnbuckle used twice, Jim. Neither have I. Wow. Beautiful. This match has had everything. Rope breaks, double exposed turnbuckle usage, <laughs> every finisher under the sun, and, and now it's one. over. Oh my and god. And now I declare it is done, and Rick has lost two weeks in a row. The triple uphill block. That's gotta be He it. would stay down for the count of 20 right now, Jim. Good night. <laughs> Chunter has done it again, the most informed man in the JFW. Wow. <laughs> and Rick is a champion in crisis. Yeah. Wow. He still got the heart of a lion, refused to give up, but took such an unbelievable beating. But at the end of the day, Chunt had dished out an unbelievable beating to the champ. That says something as well, doesn't it? He might have the heart of a lion, Jim, but right now he's got the teeth of a comb. For some reason, <laughs> just no potency to put his opponents away. Here is your winner, Crystal Hunter! <laughs>
go a win for a win for the European and loss for Team England. Where's yeah, Eva going to go from? Come. Here? Yep. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Anything can happen in the when in the in these kind of matches. It's going to be really cool to watch. I think. Um, so there you go, and this was really cool to watch. So there you go. Um, thank you very much, Rick, for the commentary. As always, absolutely glorious. Yeah, pleasure. Great, great Monday night call. Some amazing matches uh, in that one. <laughs> yeah, just the, I, I think that should be allowed. <laughs> I think you guys will be will be just fine. And uh, GG, excellent win here, Chunter. You, you've been amazing recently, and uh, you continue to be so. Absolutely incredible. And thank you very much, Bezel, for doing the predictions. Thank you very much, Eludius, for the, for the raid. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.